Hello champs, today we are diving deep into the world of tower defending with our today's guest Legion TD2. So sit down, grab some snacks and let's start. Oh, and before we start guys, can I ask you to check if you're subscribed to our channel? Guys, this is really important for us and drop some like because we need to have some numbers. They they really deleted the dislikes number on YouTube, so now you cannot see our numbers. Okay, jokes aside guys, let's begin the review. Legion TD2 is a tower defense mobile game coming from a Warcraft mod called Legion TD that was made in 2009. Being really honest with you, I have never played the original mode, but to be fair, I played Warcraft 3, and Warcraft 3 is an amazing game, so I was really excited to play this one. If you played the original and know, that it's really great game, but never knew that there is a standalone game now, watch this video till the end. Unlike many tower defending games, you wouldn't be recruiting tunnels and uh, going around specific ways with the enemies that will follow you. Instead, you'll be recruiting the fighters in your lane that will charge the enemy to protect your king. Oh, and you can also recruit the mercenaries to attack opponent's lane. Sounds already interesting, I bet, for you. So I'm sure you're gonna really love what's coming next. Let's dive deeper in it. Legion T2 is one of those games where a tutorial is fundamental to start playing properly without having any hours to do upon a trial and error. Luckily, the game has one of the cover that of the aspects of the game in the verbal mode amount of time, which considering the amount of the stuff it has to explain is not the easiest of the tools. This is the title with an extremely simple concept, but instead a very complex under the hood, thanks to its many different mechanics. We're not gonna dive deep in each and every one of it, why it's good, why it's bad, what could be done better in this video, I'm gonna give you an overall review of the game and how it feels and is it recommended by me? Well, a little bit spoiler, I really recommend you to try it, even if there is some ifs in the game. Anyway, let's continue. So the grand goal of the Legion TD2 is much easy. It's to protect your king and kill the enemies. Well, really sounds easy, right? In order to do this, you need to have 5 higher fighters to have protect your lane against the necessary harder hoods of the enemies. In order to recruit them, you will use your gold that is earned by killing and attacking enemies by completing waves. Again, sounds easy, right? This is where it gets really messy, guys. Besides defending, you can also attack your opponent. This is done by hiring mercenaries using the meat of another resource that is unlike gold is earned by time training the miners. Mercenaries will also attack one specific opponent, decides at the start of the game. Once entrained, it will boost the gold you earn by completing waves of the rest of the game. This opens up a familiar meat of possibilities, since the game offers a lot of different mercenaries that can be bought and boot boosted by your powers. These are the tank mercenaries and some that give you reduces income, but they are more powerful in terms of attack, HP pool or even special abilities. Basically, every match follows a loop. Spend gold to train fighters which defeat enemies and you earn gold. Plus spend gold to train miners which earn Ethereum, which you can use to hire mercenaries that attack opponent and give you a permanent gold boost on each wave. Oh my god, it's keep on sounding simple to you, I, I really feel like. Anyway, let's go and go deeper in the game. Legion TD2 also offers some different game mode and mechanics to spice the game up. For example, at my time during that time, there was a randomly generated some kind of new unit type to build, replacing some of your current ones. There are also the game modes that randomize by units you're building of a match of every round, not having a mode with some of the degree randomized enemies react to feels like missed opponents. Well. However, anyway, I was not lucky to record any of this stuff because I played quite a lot of this game. Well, and guys too, but we never had the time to record something really cool like this. Anyway, the common strategy in the game is to keep spending the Ethereum on the weak mercenaries to build an economy in the early game. Then, when the waves are tougher, you can start on having sending the multiple stronger mercenaries in the same wave as bosses or particularly strong enemies. This also creates a very interesting carry and support strategy. Since the training miner costs gold, one player can focus more on attacking, while the ally can spend more gold on the fighters and protecting the king. Another important concept in Legion to do is leaking. The game heavily relies on coordination with your teammate, so much that slightly underperforming ally can doom your game. 
This particular drew in the Mastermind mode. It's a 2v2 game mode with the ranked playlist. And believe me, ranked is really hard in this game. From what I tried, oh god, people who know how to play this game, especially you ones, the original guys, the OGs of the tower defending of a Legion TD mode, you guys gonna be real butterflies here, you're gonna destroy everyone. This is why I told you you need to watch this video. This mode is exactly for you. You have at times really very very frustrating games. So, before buying Legion TD2, I would really think about convincing a friend to get it too. So if you have your old friend from back in the days, guys, get in, you're gonna destroy. Your lane leak or your friend or the enemies can be both really very very hard to guess. Important aspect of leaking is that if they're properly managed and it's not a strategy, the different in lanes do in effect convince in a single match, before we getting to know your team's king. Here all the fighters that clear their lanes are gathered so they can make one last defense against the leaked waves. This opens up a strategy that I was talking to you about in the last part. One player can focus on attacking and the opponent and making him leak. While he does this, he focuses on less on defense because the other teammate can catch the leaks for him. Guys, there is so much place for the masterminds in this game, like I'm saying. Anyway, let's get closer to final decision on what is good and why you should get it. Or not. So building an army, working with your teammate and sending all the units is a great potential to allow your strategies. Legion LT2 lacks a little bit of flexibility to really engage with some of the things. There are a bunch of different units to build, but you're deploying mostly the same strategy every time, to be honest. Beyond the deciding you'll have the slightly stronger enemy than your partner has, you're probably not gonna even try to match it. But if you go bow on really good side, it's gonna be perfect. Legion of the Doom feels really like Warcraft 3, the custom map, and it never really realized how much no longer contained the Warcraft 3. The framework for something really awesome is there, but so far Legion to do is a straight port from Warcraft 3 to its own game, with least gameplay wise. It's a great part of the game that's something standalone, but now it's time to build on what they have. Let's see how they will produce in the future and honestly I feel like you need to try to support this product because it's quite actually interesting. The game itself has really good potential, the devs are working on it from what I spoke, thanks actually to them for providing me this copy. I feel like there's gonna be a future for this, but there is a lot of work to do. Guys, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one. It's been a good video and I hope you will decide actually to try this game. See you.